What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best investments to make tons and tons of stubs. Let's get into the breakdown. If you're looking for a super, super fun and easy way to earn extra money, follow me on Underdog Fantasy and use code FATDOLLARS for a deposit bonus up to a hundred bucks. All you got to do is come in here, make $1 bets, $2 bets, $3 bets, it don't matter. Choose your players, come over to the right, put the amount in, $1 bet, you have a chance to win $3 back. I will be giving you guys free picks, follow me on my Twitter, and I will give you a Discord link, and let's have some fun. So there is a lot of new content coming into MLB The Show 22, and as always, as a no money spent player, you want to take advantage of everything and every opportunity in the game to be able to stack your stubs up, finish collections if that's something that you're interested in, or just flipping on the market like myself. Okay, so let's get into the best cards that you can get for low value and you can have potential over the next two roster updates to make thousands and thousands and thousands of stubs. The first investment we're going to go over is 81 overall J.D. Martinez, okay? Right now, you can get him for 800 stubs. He's an 81 overall. On the past roster update, he did get upgraded. So, as long as he keeps his hitting streak going, I think he's on like a 10-game hitting streak right now. If he can keep that going through the rest of this week, for the next roster update, he will get a plus two or plus three. That right there will already put you at a 16 to 1700 stub profit. JD Martinez right now over the past 15 days is betting the 479 with six RBIs and one home run. Now there's two cards that I think have the most potential to go up on this next roster update. And that is 83 overall. Raphael Devers and 84 overall Ty France. If you've been following this channel, I gave you Ty France back when he was at 900 stubs. So you have a lot of opportunity to make a lot of stubs off of Ty France. But this car right here, you can go 200 stubs underneath. And once he gets his upgrade, he will go over the three thousand quick sell so you can put in an order for 1800 right now that's going to give you a 1200 profit on every quick sell or if you sell them once it gets to 34 3500 that would be about a 14 to 1500 stub profit on each and every investment Raphael devers is betting a 383 over the past 15 games with five rbis and a home run okay Ty France is betting the 396 with 19 hits, two home runs, and 10 RBIs. So these guys are in the 80, 90% tier to go diamond on the next roster update. Now, we also have this 81 overall Trevor Story, who's playing up to an 85 overall, which is the diamond tier inside edge. That is with plus 15 to both sides. Now, over the last 15 days, he has seven home runs and 21 RBIs. There's a very, very good chance that he gets a plus three. And if he keeps up the hot hit and that he's doing right now, he might get a plus four. That would turn him into a diamond. For only 750 stubs, go out and get yourself at least 40 to 50 of these Trevor stories. In the past 15 days, he is batting a 286, which can be a little bit better if he can get up to about the 290. 300 range that would be a guaranteed lot so a 286 with 21 rbis seven home runs two doubles and 14 hits over the past 15 days okay so i will go out right now and get 30 to 40 of these or closer to the 50 range because if he gets a plus three on this update he's going to be knocking on the wall for a diamond that would be almost a 2800 stub profit on each and every investment now the last card we're going to give in this video make sure that you drop a thumbs up for this type of content and subscribe with your notifications on so you can be alerted for all the upcoming streams we have 83 overall francisco lindor he was a diamond at the beginning of the game now he's trending back 
to become a diamond. I'm expecting for him to get upgraded for only 1,600 stubs. You can get him for 1,500 stubs right now. He is batting a 340 over the last 15 days with two home runs and 18 RBIs. Okay, so over the past 15 days, he also comes in with 18 hits. So he's almost averaging at least one hit per game. Very consistent. He started off as a diamond, so he already has diamond defense. Only thing he has to do is continue hitting consistently to get his numbers back up and he will easily become a diamond. Once you start the game as a diamond, especially having diamond defense, it's easier to get the hitting stats back boosted up. So Francisco Lindor is another good investment right now. If you enjoy these breakdowns, make sure that you drop a thumbs up on the video and I will see y'all in 24 hours.